In this episode, the boys are flying into a block that nobody is normally allowed to hunt. They've opened up what's called a wilderness zone for helicopter landing and hunting as the deer numbers in this area have got a little bit out of control. They're hunting for seeker deer, which are one of the most elusive deer in New Zealand and extremely challenging to hunt. They're hunting in the headwaters of the Rangitiki River, which is famous for its great trout fishing. After spending a little bit of time trout fishing, the boys head off for three or four days out chasing these crafty little creatures. It's the middle of the seeker deer rut which makes things even more exciting with these things making some crazy noises. They manage to find themselves in the thick of some crazy rutting action and knock over a few animals. This episode has got the highs and lows that come with hunting these cool little animals, so come along and let's see how they got on. Welcome to another Clark Boys hunting adventure. Come along with us three brothers as we hunt all over New Zealand for all sorts of different animals. There's no shortage of opportunities to get out there and go hunting in New Zealand, so join us as we go chase another adventure. This episode is brought to you by the Zawa 101 Highland XTC. We've combined it with the Zeiss Conquest V6 scope to produce the ultimate versatile lightweight rifle to use all over New Zealand. We've used it in the high country of the South Island right up to the North Island tight bush country and it's performed perfectly every time. So let's go and see how it performs on this episode. Should I say all right? All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sam hates it when I say all right at the start of the videos because I always do it. Right, we uh, just made it to the car park. Right, we dropped, we dropped down and right, we just set up camp about half an hour ago. All right, we're just making our way along. Yep. Right, we've uh, just packed up nice and early this morning. It's pretty. All right, we um, still haven't spotted the stag, which we. Right, we are. Uh, just get another look at that last stag. Uh, All right, drop. just don't want to do it heaps to piss them off. Every single video we do. All right. Instead of or saying alright, I'll say okay. Okay. Just don't say okay. Just say we're in here and uh, we're hunting sea cats. The uh, about the 23rd, so should be well and truly into the raw. Flowing in, got a heap of gear, uh, three blokes and about five nights I think. Might be four or five. Yeah, Dad's keen to do a bit of trout fishing, so it's about four o'clock now, 3.30 or something. It's three actually, and uh, yeah, we won't be probably have time to go hunting tonight because we have to set up camp, but Dad's keen to do some fishing, so do that and then we might go fly camping for a couple nights away from this camp because it looks like there's been quite a few people here. Well, we'll see how this uh, trip goes. I feel like we've hardly done any hunting this year. Joking or? It's a lot of work. My knees are still sore from yesterday. <laughs> Yesterday's hunt. Too smart for you. What? Too smart for you. It's hooked up. Was it a good one or not? Did you see? Probably that little one we've seen. Uh, it's got a bit of go in it. Little hooks, remember? I'll take that out to him though. It's not the eel. Nah. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Don't let it get into that main current. It's gone once it gets into the rapids. It is in the main current. <laughs> oh, no, I'm pulling it back in now. Cool. It might be one of those big boys, is it? It's going to get him in the bricks. Don't let it get into the bricks. 
guns. A little fighter. There it comes. Yeah. Oh, it's only hooked in the side. That's why it was biting quite hard. Was it quite heavy? Yeah. Nah, it's just hooked in it. Ready? First fish. Second cast. Nice little jerk. Probably about three pound. Put your hand, can you put your hand around the other side, it's tight. About three pound, about six pound if you do that. <laughs> it looks better like that. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna let it go. Let them go, let them grow. Yeah. Nice. It's gonna go for a little wine. Nice rangatiki bloody uh, trout there, rainbow jack. Ah, the way my got caught in 4K, eh? It got caught in 4K, that fella. Don't even know what that it's means. It's popping off here, eh? What popping does this off. stuff mean? This is TikTok talk. Unfortunately, catching that trout was about as good as it got for the first day and a half. They were stuck at camp with the weather packing in a bit, so they just sat in the tents and rode it out. On the second night, the weather started to clear up and the wind dropped, so they were off the next morning. Right, we're just packing up. It's about 7 o'clock now. It's pretty cold on the fingers and the tent's frozen and you're packing it up. But it's gonna be, you know it's going to be a good day, so it should get the stags going. Cranking, we reckon, so... Probably popping off, eh? Cranking and popping off. Cold, but at least it's frost on the top of the trees. It's not much wind, so it's easier than yesterday. It's bloody howling yesterday. Mm. Don't like the wind there. No. I'd rather have frosty than wind. Heading up the hill over here, so we cross the river first. It's going to be real fun. <laughs> gonna take our boots off and go bare feet. My toes are already cold. Dad's got the waders, so he's sorted. Won't be as bad. And then, yeah, up the hill and. Hopefully get some stags cranked up and bring them in. <laughs> Harry's just cross dad's already made it over, Harry's just crossing. It's freezing. It's just in his crocs and his jocks. And I'm not looking forward to this, but it'll be alright once we get up and get warm up the hill. Oh my god. That must be cold. In his pack. Go that way, you moron. Just making our way up out of the river. It's nice to warm the feet up. Pete's got his little day bag as his pack, so hopefully he can keep up with us. Here he comes.
stag down, stag down. <laughs> Single calling and I snuck in. Um, started whistling. I think he might have heard me. I just keep going and then I was coming over this little rise and I heard him run off. I just quickly ran up and gave a little call and he's just looking at me on the board. <laughs> that was awesome. Nick shot him at about 30 metres. Like a, a little singer in it. I don't know. It's just a classic head in here. Eh? Expert. Um, I don't know why it whistled. Maybe it heard me, but and I just carried on. Just about to come over that little rise there and heard it running off. Did a little call. Popped over and was just looking up at Shot him. It was cool to get a nice tidy six pointer on the board. The boys were stoked to get a bit of roaring action and end up knocking it over. After a few photos and taking away all the meat, it was time to head back and see if they could get something on the way home. Camp now, it's probably, I don't know, a couple k's maybe. We're hoping we'll get onto something else on this flat in front of us, down by the river. There's no roaring, which is a bit of a shame, but if nothing happens today, then tomorrow's another day. Yeah. So stags roaring down across the gully, we heard yesterday. We'll go, we'll go down there tomorrow. We'll go after that way and have a hunt. Mm -hmm. Every buck could be the last one, eh? Hey? Every buck, every hind. I would have thought the stags would have been popping off a bit, eh? In this gully, yeah. Oh boy, it's going to blow over the shower. Man. And you got the camera to carry. Yeah. Not all the meat. If you finally got the stitch out of it. After finding a good place to camp that was nice and flat, the boys set up the Thermarest in the MSR and went to bed to recharge the batteries for a big day's hunting the next day. The next day saw the boys put in a big day of hunting, getting onto a few animals but not managing to knock over any stags. They did manage to get one hind which was cool to get a bit of extra meat but that was about as good as it got, so they went back to camp for another night and then headed off the next morning to try and get themselves a stag. Pack down pretty small that tent too. It's quiet. It's happening big fella. It's packing up last full day today. Gonna hunt our way back to the main camp. Uh, it's a nice day I think, it's a bit misty but should come out the sun and break break the cloud away and yeah haven't heard much roaring all through the night one red stag still going hard over there but we'll drop down off the ridge and do some roars and hopefully we can bump into a stag today is the goal so see how we get on Pete's just packing up a bit behind us as usual get some timber. beautiful seeker meat just hanging in the week here. If you've got a dirty um, bowl from the cereal in the morning, get your moss, wet moss, and chuck it in there. Give it a stir. Kills all the germs. Yep, good hygiene. It's probably the one where Noah took a piss earlier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a good piss. Does over. a pretty good job. The warmness cleaning. of the piss uh, helps. Just the liquid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Day here now. I've just packed up our fly camp here and we're going to do a big loop uh, down the river back to our main camp <clears throat> tonight. So, I've heard a, actually heard a red roaring, so that's pretty interesting. Usually get some real ropey bloody redheads if they're going to be in here. And um, <clears throat> we've got a couple of seekers we heard last night, so hopefully we can get them going. But we did hear one squealing last night, so that's a bit of annoying. <clears throat> See how we get on. Hopefully, we have a good day. Yep. Let's head off, eh? Well, it's, it's all early. 
Yeah. Gotta get them cranked up. Gorillas in the mist. Yeah. Is that a movie? without gorillas. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're kind of gorillas, aren't we? It's just like. It's just like. <laughs> I don't even know what Gorillas in the Mist is, but I've is it a movie? It's a documentary about to gorillas. To say it before. Yeah, this is just like Gorillas in the Mist, but just it's without, misty. That's why it was without saying. gorillas, leaving, no gorillas, leaving nothing but footprints and heaps of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Very, <laughs> Very <steaming> shit. shits. <laughs> <laughs> Old boy just went, just about went down there. Would have been a good, good footage. dropped down to the river, spooked a couple on the way down, come across a nice scrape, and then we roared and the wind was wrong, deer whistled, so a bit disappointing. I'm going to head up this ridge here, we've heard a reed stag roaring up here for a couple of days, so heard some seeker over here the other day, so we're going to go up and see if we can roar and see if we get a reply, and hopefully we can get something on the deck. Morale's dropped a bit. Yeah. Hunted well, pretty hard for us. Lifts morale, two deer, eh? Two deer, we've hunted pretty hard for two deer, I reckon. Mm. Bloody hard. Two night fly camp. We could have hunted for, what, ten hours yesterday? For a hind. Hopefully still today. dividend has got to pay got off good, soon. You've got good action. Mm -hmm. Pretty fit. This is fit. After putting in a big climb to get up into the open tops, the boys were a little bit disappointed to not hear too much roaring or see any animals. So they headed back down into the bush to where they'd heard some the day before. Well, we're just dropping down. The spirits were quite low. And then we just heard a single call, only like 100 metres away. Down below us, Harry's sneaking down. Hoping that, do you hear that? We're hoping that the bush opens up a bit and it's in a spot where we can sneak and sneak in on it because it's very tight and steep here. But at least we're hearing them. Well, one. Haven't heard a single call all day. Never hear one. Probably the same one we heard the other day. Or the one we just spooked at the tops. Was that wind just blowing back? No, it's going that way. Should we just get into a bit better position? I'm gonna go down to there and just sit down to grab his back. Just 
snuck in on that stag. He actually went quiet, but we heard a gunshot, so we're hoping he got it. <laughs> Not a hind, but it's exciting when you hear a shot. roaring. I don't know if there was one or two of them but one whistled at me and then I did a roar and I got an answer so I dropped down another 50 meters. Didn't hear any roaring so I decided to do a roar. As soon as I did a roar I heard some sticks breaking and then about a minute later one just popped up just above me. He looks like an absolute tiny little stag but we were on the last night here so we just wanted to get something down and I wanted to get a stag and some good meat. It's not too far to carry back, so wrapped about that. I don't know if I would have got it on the GoPro. I was recording, so we'll see. But yeah, it was pretty cool. Just he just about to get onto my track. But he came down, cut me, cut my wind, so I just quickly fired into his neck. Dropped him about 20 meters. Pretty cool. Just roll back at the boys. Get them come down. Wrapped, wrapped off that. Okay, have a look at him. Just up here. It's just a little fella. It's definitely not a spiker, it's a two year old or something. It's some good cow antlers on it. Little sticks. Man, look at that head. That's a good one to shoot. Raw, so we'll do another one. Ripper, ripper head. I think it is a young one, but it's just so bad. It's got like straight on top of it. Wow. Went the wrong way. You missed, did you? Why didn't you follow me? Wow! <laughs> what a ripper, eh? What an ugly sucker. I think it is like a younger one, but man, look at its head. It's bigger than. It's, it's way older than. Definitely that's, that's not a spiker though, like it's not, it's, it should be better. It's like a that. two or three year old, and it's like so bad. Where was it? Oh, it was over in that garden, I roared and it ran over to me and I shot it just down there. But I think the other one's right. I think there might have been another one, eh? Did you bring it up here? No, I shot it just by that tree and it ran, rolled down. Uh. What a ripper head. <laughs> Well, God, it's actually there. one of the worst ones I've ever seen. Yeah, it is. Look at that side. It's a one pointer. Yeah, it's not even a pointer. It's a one. It's a three flatter. <laughs> There's like a no um, brows at all. Maybe it got frost damage. Or it's something. a three flatter. It's a, really, it's a good one to shoot, I think. God's sake. Oh, it's a good one to shoot. Yeah, isn't it? Big effort, eh? Oh, shit, it's for that, so. Big effort for that, isn't it? It's kind of fun shooting something. I'm not going to yeah, lie. cool when we heard the shot, because we thought... Yeah. Might get something else on the way down here, too. Yeah, what are we going to do? We're going to go back to the We need to go that way. Or across. Get onto Man. the bridge. It's such a shit place to stalk a deer. Yeah. So hard. I was going down that gut, and I was like, oh, I can't go down that gut anymore. So oh, I come so, up to the bridge. That's where I went down the gut. That Put bridge is quite nice. I just dropped down. It's not like too it's bad. It's so hard to stalk hard, on there. but like it's... Yeah. Sounds on again. Wow. Any seeker is a good seeker, eh? they're not, not that easy to get. Although the stag was no record breaker, Harry was stoked to be able to get a stag for himself. He took a few photos before taking the meat and heading back down to base camp where they had some luxuries waiting for them. I hate it. 
it. Good time. It didn't take too long. No, it's quick from heat packs heavy there. Feel it in the yeah. rivers. Got a bit of shrub with you. Little... Yeah, I was fighting the shrub. With your Ripper 6. Yeah. <laughs> better than your ones. Yeah, way better. <laughs> <laughs> it's still crap. Ooh, hello my little friend. Fanta, Fanta can kick things off. Yeah, if you had a beer you'd just black out. <sighs> Not that cold actually. Nah. There's a few in the river though, isn't there? They won't actually be in the river. Not these. Beers though. No, they, that water level was way up. Yeah, they would have been probably hotter there in the sun. So we didn't put in a good effort, eh? Made it, eh? Oh, that was a big day. A couple of big days. Oh, Fanta, yeah, I've been thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking about that Fanta all the way over that saddle. Overall, it had been a really fun and successful trip. It was great to spend some time with the old man, cover a lot of country with their hunting, and they were rewarded with some nice animals. That was all you can really ask for. So with some meat to take home, they loaded up the chopper and headed back to civilization. As part of being able to hunt in the wilderness zone, the boys had to take the jaws of the animals they shot back out with them to be aged by the Seeker Foundation. The six-pointer that Noah shot at the start was 11 years old, and the stag that Harry shot at the end was six years old. The hind they got on the middle day was three years old. Thanks heaps for watching guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did and you're not subscribed already, give us a click, we really appreciate all the subscribers that we've got and all the comments you guys leave us. And just to finish, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors that have supported us throughout the years, providing us with the gear that we use out on the hills. We love using it, and if you guys want to get some for yourself, in the description for this video, we've got links to the websites where you can find them and some discount codes that have been given to us to share with our followers so you guys can get a good deal. Once again, thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next time.